Hello and welcome to Median Excel. Today I will be showing you some ways to get early game items to help you overcome those initial challenges. Because I know that for new players it can be quite overwhelming. So I am here to help you out. Now the easiest way to get items that are going to be really useful to you is to make rune wards. Now on the Median Excel official site, modsbylaz.hugelaser.com, uh, there is a huge list of rune wards and you just have to look at your weapon of choice and look at which rune wards are available at about your level, at or below your level basically, and see if they're useful to you and then just make them. So for example I would, since I'm a bow wielding druid, as you can see I've got my bow skills here, I am, um, I would make a bow. Specifically I would probably make banshee, but you know what, so let's, let's do just that. I will show you my favorite low level rune wards right now. So first of all, let's make something in this armor. So the rune word I like is this one, Lumen Arcana, and it needs an Ith rune, which is this one, so the required level 15. And this armor gives you some enhanced defense, and basically one to all skill levels, which is really nice if you are uh, if you're using direct damage spells or summons so let's just put that away for a bit now oh yes to make rune wards you just need one rune and your base item where you're gonna put that rune so if your item has two sockets I believe you can do a little thing and say throw in a jewel and then throw the rune in and there you have a rune ward now the one I made here is called Banshee and it's it works in bows both normal bows and druid bows and it's really very good as you can see it adds faster run walk speed some damage and plus maximum damage based on character level which is a very powerful thing to have as well as some good cold damage so I almost always make this rune ward whether I'm playing a bow character or just to use on my rogue merc now if you have a base item but no socket you can use this little recipe you put your item in the cube and the jewel and it will make you a socket and let me see yes if we put an S rune into a belt we're gonna get a rainbow which is another really good rune word all resist plus 15% 12% magic find and some max damage as you can see I am actually using one right now upgraded with some mystic orbs And this one I don't use really all that often, but it's really really very good. You just put an L rune into a helmet and you get 150% extra gold and reduces all vendor prices. So usually you are short on gold when you start out, when you start a new character, so this can really help you out. And another rune word that I saw was that looked decent is this one Tal plus any weapon, and it makes you a decent weapon. Also has damage based on character level, and it's just easy to get a decent weapon like that. So I think that about covers rune words. I suppose I would show you one more thing you can do is how to get base items if you can't find them so first 
I will gamble an item that I need. So for the sake of quickness, let's just gamble something simple. That's a bit expensive. We'll gamble a Chris. Now, as you can see, this is a magic weapon and it has no sockets. To make rune wards you need a weapon or an item with a grey name and this one's blue. So you can remove the magic property by using the catalyst of destruction with a rune. So we'll just toss this in here and this returns your catalyst of destruction and the item is now a simple low quality item. Uh, you can find all this information on the Median Excel website by the way, so you can read up on everything in more detail. Now you usually don't want to make rune wards in low quality items, so just use Oil of Enchantment on it and it uh, makes you a normal quality item and if you're a perfectionist it's cheap enough to apply another oil of enchantment to make it superior again it does not have a socket so another thing you can do which I really enjoy doing myself is just reroll using oils of renewal still no sockets but now the superior bonus is better okay I'll just use a jewel on that so there we go now it's a superior Chris with really good mods already that bonus to attack rating is really useful for melee characters and I forgot my rune ward so I'm just gonna make one of these Oops. there we go another shark so I think that pretty much covers the early rune wards now as you can see here I have a pile of unique items so that's what I'll show you next let me put those runes away unique items drop fairly commonly in median that. They drop fairly commonly in median but there is quite a lot of them so you might not find what you need specifically. So what you can do is disenchant them and make a new unique item with the ingredients that you get. So the way this is done is you put a unique item and let me just show you where to buy this and a catalyst of disenchantment which is this thing make sure it's not destruction but disenchantment the yellow one put them in the cube unique item on the catalyst and transmute this gives you arcane shards I'll just do all of them disenchant the unique items which will give you a pile of these arcane shards and then five arcane shards make an arcane crystal and here I have four it seems so I will oh, I have some saved up very good so now we have two arcane crystals now let's say I want to make my mercenary a new armor you can find the list of all the unique items in the median excel website so don't hesitate reading it I am going to gamble a base item disenchant it and turn it into a unique now this might take a few moments oh there we go so, 
a lame magic item. Right. I will need one of these. So, now let's use the catalyst of destruction. Take these out. Whoops! You see, that's that's why you should be careful with these recipes. Uh, when you're using the catalyst of destruction, make sure you put in a rune, or you may lose your item because a catalyst of destruction and an item is just a recipe for destroying the item. But if you use a rune, it will remove the properties. Next, I want to enchant it once, and now I want to turn it into a unique. So if I remember the recipe, it's two arcane crystals and an oil of enchantment makes you a unique item. So basically, you can turn 10 uniques that you found at random into one unique that you need specifically. He'll put that to good use. So that pretty much covers the uniques and rune wards of the early game. Now another thing I perhaps should mention is mystic orbs. These little things here. As you can see they have some small mods on them and how they work is you say for example I want more poison resistance where is it? I know it was here somewhere I need the ones with armor there we go there poison resistance so I am lacking poison resistance on my character, so what I'm going to do is buy some mystic orbs that give me what I need. See my poison is a bit low. And just cube them with the item. And there you can see it says poison resist 19%. Now add 5 from this, it's 24. Uh, the mystic orbs also raise the items required level by 2, so be careful when you use them. And I think you also can't use more than 15 of the same mystic orb. Well, now I'm a bit more resistant to poison. Okay, I think this about covers the low level items in median excel and I hope this knowledge will be useful to you if you have any feedback leave a comment